One of the other things that I used to do in my classroom is I had book mail. And so this is just a um, padded envelope from the dollar store. And I just put, if I can get it in there, you can all see. So Mrs. Rodriguez class, and I said that it's from the land of wonderful books. But here is where I added my little element of mystery or play. I sprinkled it in. So what I would do is for my read aloud each day is I would put it in this envelope. And then I would, I actually had a mailbox that hung on my wall and it was um, a wide mailbox. Like it was wider than this. Um, and it had the lid at the top that you lift up. I wish I still had it. Um, and this would slide right in there. And so one of my students could go over and get our book mail. So all of a sudden it's, I have the kids attention and they're actively engaged because they're like, oh, what book is in the book mail today? And I would pull it out and I would say, oh, let's look at our stamp. Our stamp today is a stamp of the world. I wonder if our book inside is something that's going to be about the world. And so I just attach these with tape and I have all sorts. I have a little container full here of different book stamps. So like one for dinosaur books and these are super easy to create. I also, I, we can link to this printable too. butterflies, all the different holidays and I can just trade out a different stamp there. So all this, all of the sudden, just with something very simple, all of a sudden I have everyone's attention because they're just, oh, chomping at the bit to know what book are we gonna read aloud today? And so I can open up my container and I can even sometimes put little props in there. Like, oh, look, there's a heart. Hmm. Our stamp was of the world and there's a heart in there. I wonder how these two things go together. Let me see if there's anything else in my bag. Oh, look, there's a paper bag. A paper bag, a heart, and a stamp of the world. Does anybody have any ideas of what our book might be about? And now I'm taking, the kids are all raising their hand and they're engaged and they're gift, you know, giving us answers of what they, their predictions or what they're inferring from these clues that we have of what the book is going to be. And after I do this, just for a couple of moments, just to generate that excitement, that little sprinkle of play I put in there, and then I pull out the book and I'm like, oh, boys and girls, our book today is called One Little Bag, An Amazing Journey by Henry Cole. Wow, look, look, that little bag. I wonder if that's why there was a bag in our envelope. And then I might just kind of start to do a quick picture walk and might say, oh my, look at this page. Look, what do you see on the bag? I see a heart. I wonder, I wonder if that's why there was a heart in our bag and so on and so forth. And then we enjoy the book and we talk about how all three of our clues tied in to our read aloud. And this is something that you can do every day. You can change it up. They now have really cool padded envelopes that are all different colors that you could change for the season. Sometimes I would leave our book mail in the office and I if I had um, a student or maybe a whole class that was a little fidgety that day, I might say, you know what? Our book mail is in the office today. Let's all walk down and pick up our book mail. And we all go to the office and we pick up our book mail and then we come back and now everybody's ready to sit down and we can dive into our envelope and check out our check out our book. So that's something very simple that we can do um, daily to add just a little bit of mystery and excitement into that read aloud to get the kids' attention.